I'm CJ. It's Lady CJ. Lady CJ here. Life and stuff. So today, as you can see, I had my hair done. And I think it looks so pretty. Look, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Eee! Dab it on your face. It was nine o'clock. <laughs> Hi everyone, Lady CJ with Life and Stuff. And back to talk to you some more about RuPaul's Drag Race. And before I get to that, I'm going to talk to y'all and give you some useless facts. Because, you know, you never know when you might need some useless facts to throw out in a conversation. You know? So, did you know that on average, people fear spiders more than they do death? Yep. And that only one person in two billion will live to be 116 years or older. And that women blink nearly twice as much as men. Who knew? Now you do. And that it's possible to lead a cow up a flight of stairs, but totally impossible to lead a cow downstairs. Who the fuck is leading cows up staircases? Strange. And in 10 minutes, a hurricane releases more energy than all the world's nuclear weapons combined. That's pretty powerful. Pretty damn powerful stuff. Wow. 35 people out of 100 use personal ads for dating and they're already married. 35 out of 100 use a personal ad for dating, but they're already married. You sick, sick people. Bastards. Damn. So, yeah, there's some useless facts and some trivia for you. Because you might never know when you need to throw something out because you want to feel intelligent. So... Yeah, and yes, I vape, and just to let you know, if you do vape, this little mouthpiece thing, take this thing off every day, if you don't, take it off every day, maybe even twice a day, and make sure you clean it, you know, there's like a thing, a little hole in there, take a Q-tip and get a Q-tip in there and clean that thing out, because you don't want bacteria growing in there, that's not good, so make sure, if you vape, make sure you clean that, at least twice a day, or at least once, but clean it every day, so, okay, RuPaul's Drag Race, we are now in... Season 5. And our contestants are Jinx Monsoon. She is from Seattle. And she has narcolepsy. So she is often caught snoozing. Oh, excuse me. Did I just fall asleep on you? So sorry. Oh, so sorry. And during the Snatch Game, which is an episode which is actually on right now, she does this phenomenal impersonation of Edie Bouvier Beale, who is a cousin of John F. Kennedy, and um, from a movie, Grey Gardens. And if you haven't seen the movie, Grey Gardens... It's with Drew Barrymore, and it's phenomenal. And this, you see how crazy this woman is. But she's not crazy. 
I mean, she is, but she's not. You'll watch it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, Jinx Monsoon. And then there's Alaska. And Alaska is Sharon Needle's girlfriend. However, they're not together anymore, but during this season, they were together. And Sharon was the winner of season four. Yay, Sharon! Woo! And Alaska is just crazy, and she's just known to make phenomenal things with nothing. Like, she can make a dress out of a garbage bag and take trash and make it into treasure. And she's just hilarious. And this, I want to say dry humor, but it's not dry. I can't even explain it. She's just batshit crazy. But she's funny, funny, funny. And I just love her. And then there's Roxy Andrews. Thick and juicy Roxy. And... Mm -mm. I didn't like her in this season. She was a uppity, stuck on herself kind of personality. I mean, she was kind of nice, but no. Mm -mm. I don't know. She rubbed me the wrong way, I guess. But Roxy Andrews, beautiful. Beautiful figure for a full-figured woman. She's beautiful, but she just didn't have this, didn't have a great personality. She just, you know, took things to the extreme a lot. Was kind of bitchy in all the wrong ways. And then there's Detox. And Detox went through a lot in her life. Like, a lot. And watched... Um, unfortunately, saw her boyfriend dead, found her boyfriend dead, and, um, he even told her that he was going to kill himself, and, um, had to find him, and I can only imagine how hard that that must be on somebody, and was in a car accident, and was defigured, and, um... It took a lot for her to to um, do what she's doing now. She's had a lot of cosmetic surgery to fix her appearance, and she is just beautiful. But she's had a lot of implants, like she had her ass done, and she's got her pecs done, and she's had her chin done and her cheeks done, and just a lot of work. Just a lot of work. She's just, she's an amazing ass. <laughs> amazing. So, Detox. And Alaska, Roxy, and Detox form this clique called Alaska Tox during the season. And then there's Coco Montrese. And Coco is feisty, but she wears this foundation and blush and stuff and makes her kind of look like she's a Dorito. So through the season, she's got this orangey kind of look to her. So she's just cheesy. She's <laughs> cheesy. So, yeah, cheesy, cheesy Coco. And next is Alyssa Edwards, who has, shh, Alyssa's secret. And Alyssa is a dancer and has a dance troupe. And um, Alyssa and Coco had a thing prior to the season starting. So Coco is just using every excuse in the book as to why... Every time she fucks up, it's Alyssa's fault. Because Coco's just, oh, just, I'm just all upside myself, beside myself, and it's Alyssa. No, it ain't. It's you, Coco. You can't handle it. 
you know, put that shit aside and just do your shit. But anyway, there was this huge thing, you know, uh, with some pageant that happened between Alyssa and Coco. Now, they kind of solved it on the show, but not really. And then we come to Ivy Winters. And she is a juggler and a circus performer. And she comes out in one of the episodes that she's on, like, 15-foot stilts with these big butterfly wings. And she juggles, like I said, she juggles. And she does all this amazing stuff. And she's just beautiful with this awesome personality, totally down to earth. She doesn't bash anyone. And she's just awesome. And then there's Jay Jolie. And eh. That's all I can say is eh. She didn't really leave an impression on me. Eh. She's cute. She's, she's cute. But eh. Sorry, Jade. Just sorry. And I haven't really heard much about Jade since... The season ended, so... Eh. Um, and then... Lanasha Sparks! She's beautiful. Thick, thick, thick accent. I can't remember where she's from. Some place down in South America. But she's extremely catty. And... She blames a lot of her problems on the other girls. And, you know, her and her accent and that. I never did this before and I've never done that before. Well, so? Maybe the other girls haven't either. Why is that your problem? You knew what you were getting into when you signed on to the show. And uh, you can't tell me you haven't watched the show. So, I'm tired of all these girls and their excuses. Nope. No excuse. There's no excuse. And then, Honey Mahogany. Nope. Nope. Forever wearing caftans. Every runway. That bitch had a caftan. Do you know what a caftan is? It's like... It's like freaking wearing your robe. Like a fancy robe. Like, uh, doesn't even form fitting. It's like, what the hell? She had one in every color. It's like wearing a bed sheet down the runway. Bitch, please. So, every single runway, that bitch walked down the runway wearing a caftan. Nothing else. Never changed. Never any different. And usually some kind of poofy kind of hairdo. Nope. Left no impression on me. I was not impressed. And neither was Rue. And I'll explain. I will explain. So, next up is Vivian Panay. Who believed that she was... The fishiest queen ever. Of past seasons, the future seasons, all seasons. Sorry, Vivian. I don't think so. Because Violet Chachki, Pearl, uh, you know what? Uh, e Roxy Andrews. You know, even Alaska, Aja, Pheromone, those girls are fishier than you are. So, <laughs> to you, Vivian. And she just had a bad attitude and all up about herself. And you can't be that way. You know, I, I, I understand having confidence and all. And that's great, being confident. Everybody needs confidence. I've talked about it myself. And I've talked about it on my channel. Being confident. Confidence 
is a wonderful thing. And uh, especially as women, we need it. We need it. And you got to walk around, be proud of yourself. Have confidence. Because when you when you walk around and you're confident about yourself, it it shows and it, it makes people see you in a different light. You just better than walking around like this, all shy and everything. You know, confidence. And you feel better about yourself too. So, but to be uppity is just, or bitchy, is just not a good quality to have. So, anyway, what ends up happening is Vivian and Honey Mahogany are at the bottom, too, of this one episode. And they have to lip sync for their lives. And the lip sync that they, the song that they have to lip sync to is Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. And these two girls had, like, all of the energy of a wet noodle. It was like a dead fish, sink, you know, lip syncing on, uh, on the runway. It was just terrible. Neither one of them outdid the other. And it was just, how do you do that? You're lip syncing. To freaking Britney Spears, for God's sakes, and they're just, like, no energy. Britney Spears is, like, high energy. It, you're, what the hell? So, for the first time ever, RuPaul did a double elimination and kicked both their asses off. Yay, RuPaul, you show them that if you don't want... To be there and you don't have the fire to be on her show, then get the hell off. So that's what she did. She kicked both their asses off. And then, so next up, we have Monica Beverly Hills who came out on the show. She had, uh, was really eating her up that uh, she was transitioning. From a boy to a girl. And it was really bothering her. That, that she was going through this process. And she was being untrue. And hiding, hiding it from the, other, from the other queens. So eventually she came out on the runway. And told Rue and all the other girls what she was going through. So... Bravo to you, Monica Beverly Hills, for what you're, for that, that was very brave of you, and to come out on national television, that was huge, huge, so bravo to you, and then there was Serena Chacha, oh god, she was just an uppity, artist type chick who actually told the other girls read a book read a book oh this chick needed a slap upside the head she's just awful and rude and thought she was all that and she's like 21 years old actually i don't even think she was 21 but she's just rotten just nasty and she didn't know how to do drag and was telling all the other queens how to do drag and thought that her artsiness made her like this phenomenal drag queen when she'd only been really doing drag for like less than like a year and just because you're an artist doesn't make you this fabulous drag queen and just because you're educated doesn't make you better than anybody else so you need to just shut the hell up and that's just rude just rude, 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 rude. And if you can't take the heat, Serena Cha-Cha, get out of the fucking kitchen. So, ha! So she got booted off. I think it was the second episode. Because the first one to go was either first or second. Because there was Penetration. She's the last contestant. And Penetration was the fan favorite. And 
she was a big girl, and she was the one all the fans chose out of a uh, a, a list of, um, I think it was about 200 girls that Rue had put up on social media, and the fans got to choose their favorite. And Penny was the one that was chosen. But if I recall correctly, because I missed that first episode, um, I think Penny was the first one um, to go home. And then Serena went home second. And um, Monica third. So it's... Um, it's interesting, it's just getting, things getting heated, and it's awesome, so I'm trying to bring you all the dish, and all the scoop, and all the tea, and, um, so yeah, it's a great show, and I look forward to keeping you all informed, and, oh, Little Pound Cake, bringing you some... Tweets from Little Pound Cake. I'll be sharing some tweets from her uh, throughout my uh, posts. So that should be interesting because Little Pound Cake deserves to uh, make an appearance on my channel. So look forward to her tweets and... Um, she needs no introduction. Uh, if you don't know who Little Pound Cake is, you will. So, this is Lady CJ. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to talking to y'all soon. And leave a comment if there's anything about any one of these queens that you'd love to know about. I'll answer that for you. And I look forward to seeing y'all back again. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Woo!